Hello, everyone. I welcome you to a new broadcast of our series, Treasures of Knowledge. Today's topic is Tai Chi Chuan and relaxation, the concept of Sung. Even though the classics really refer to the quality of Sung by name, it plays a central role in the practice of Tai Chi Chuan. Stum. Often, this quality of Sung is also used to distinguish it from the so-called external martial arts. What is meant by the concept of Sung and how is it practiced? To shed some light on this subject, I am pleased to welcome the following women as our guests. First, I would like to welcome Birte Timsen from Germany. She is an expert in Wu Dang Tai Chi Chuan. I greet you, Birte. Hello, Martin. Hello. Nice to join you. My second guest. My second guest is Hella Abel, also from Germany. She practices and teaches young style in the system of Huang Chenqian. Hella, I'm glad you're here. Hello from Germany. Hello, Hella. Yeah, and last but not least, Laura Stone from the Netherlands, who stands within the young style in the system based on William C.C. Chen. A warm welcome, Laura. Thank you. I'm happy to be here, Martin. My colleagues and the whole support team. Welcome, welcome. So sometimes, and this is the idea of this monthly broadcast, it's good to think a little bit outside the box and get different perspectives that might give a more complete view on the thing. There will be two sets of questions I would like to ask my guests, and I'm curious about all of your pers personal perspectives on this. The question of the first round is, how would you describe the quality and process of song? Berta, can you give us an insight into your practice in a practical way? Yes, uh, thank you, Martin. So I would say um, the quality of song, so how to be really relaxed, depends on the emptiness of your heart. The empty heart is a um, fundamental principle in Taoist, Buddha, and Tai Chi Chuan. And uh, the, the um, name for the heart is Xin. And it's not only the heart, it's like the um, emotional mind. So if your emotional mind is too restless, and if your emotional mind is um, involved too much in things, um, the heart is not empty. So don't waste your energy too much um, in being engaged in things and ideas. And if you don't waste your energy, you have it available. So it's available for you. Mm, we um, practice this in meditation. So it'll be an inner um, cultivation. And um, yeah, so if you... Uh, if we practice it in a practical way and in a little funny way, um, just ask someone to disturb you anytime. And smile and keep cool. And you also asked for the uh, process of song. So it's shown in the Chinese character for song. It's uh, the character for pine tree. The pine tree of for loose and relax and a plant plant is um, like natural loose and relax. So it's, um, it's relaxed out of itself. And we practice this by maybe you all uh, know the standing position and um, just let flow and let go and don't resist. And the body is um, relaxing step by step. So your E, your attention, is going through the body and you relax step by step, but don't relax. So it, it doesn't work to relax on demand, just relax in a natural way and watch the body find its natural way of relaxing um, for itself. So it's like this, maybe you know this uh, word, uh, it's like um, be natural, be open-minded. So the, um, for us, the um, quality and process of song in this empty heart and the natural relaxing, it, it makes a big difference because you're free in 
action. It's soon, it's not only a quality uh, for Tai Chi Chuan, it could be um, it's a state or a way of being. So that's all for this. Thank you. Thank you, Birte, for your input. And now I'm curious about, um, Hella, your um, personal perspective on this question. Okay, uh, Song is uh, about letting go all unnecessary tension in the body. And of course, it's uh, not possible without perfect alignment and perfect structure. So you need a perfect connection into the ground and up. And in the beginning, you feel very rough tension. And with progress in Tai Chi, you feel smaller and smaller tensions in the body and can let it go. And then when you relax the body muscles, you also relax the mind. And so calmness uh, of the mind comes and you will have stillness in the movement. And through gravity, relaxation wants to go down, you will have also sinking. So you have uh, calmness, stillness, relaxation, sinking. And also we want to work through Song on the connection in the body. And uh, first uh, I relax in the base. That means feet, ankles, knees, hip joints. And that gives space for the body muscles to relax. My leg uh, muscles in the calves, in the thighs relax. Then also upper body muscles relax. And that gives space for the shoulders to go down and the elbows may open. And so in this way, you can go down. And then when the force comes up, you can release the force from the feet to the fingertips. Mm. So we really work on relaxing down. First, we start base, body, arms, but then it is one continuous flow, one continuous flow down into the ground and up to the top of the head. And through relaxation, we connect the body and we achieve relaxed force. And we can use this relaxed force in the partner work. And um, I'll explain it uh, later in the exercise. And so with song, you connect, you relax, and you have sinking and sinking. And re with sinking and relaxing, you have sticking and you can break the base of a partner. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Hella. Thanks for your share. So um, finally, in this first round, I ask Laura, what do you say from your experience and point of view about the question of quality and the practice of song? Song, releasing, letting go, relaxing, softening. These are all wonderful words to get the feeling of really the spaciousness and release of soul. So it's a physical quality, lucky for us, so we can have a physical practice of it, of connecting through the feet, just as Hella said, yeah, really connecting feeling the soles of the feet releasing into the earth and also feeling the earth supporting us. So build a kind of trust of standing on this earth. You come into balance with and exchange with gravity. So even though I 
let my arms come up. There's a kind of floating quality there. Like the waves of the ocean. They almost go by themselves, blending with the breath, in this case, out in our style. And within expansion, and release. Even in this release, there's a sense of falling away and spaciousness. So we have the connection to the ground, to the earth, and at the same time, through the head, very classic connection to the heavens. And then we as human beings, or as a person now, are like a conduit between heaven and earth. On a very physical level, it's a sensation for me of emptiness, a little bit like what the empty heart maybe that uh, Berta was talking about. And a sense of this very fine thread, thread of silk maybe, that's that center line. And everything spirals out from there. And that central line, axis, all the way to the ends of our fingers. And from this relaxation, we get trust, confidence, and later we'll show effortless power. See you later. Thank you. Thanks, Laura. And the to others uh, for your input in the first round. In the second round, I'm interested in which exercises you use to experience and deepen this quality. Laura, again, first, uh, can you demonstrate an exercise and would you give us an example? Yes, I'm going to begin with some uh, simple exercises for beginners and just releasing, relaxing your, the soles of your feet into the floor, let, sitting, letting your knees bend, let all of your joints bend, release and move. And then with the in-breath, letting your arms come up. And with the out-breath, releasing. So this is just very simple in, and out. For balance, we can step back. I like to do this one, still keeping my weight on one foot and returning. So opening out, expanding, and returning. So I'd also like to show you how that works with the sword, because then I have something heavy in my hand. I'm, this is my friend, um, quite heavy, but very well balanced. So I can play with it. And you can see from my feet to the tip, moving, playing, playing is a good word, that helps us to relax. Sword is sharp. So the sharpness and release, relaxing, heavy, and feeling soft and light. And lastly, not lastly, I have two more things. <laughs> I'd like to show you some things about soft contact and push hands. It seems like the time goes really fast. Eh? I'm touching Fred, my partner, so softly molding to him. I call this uh, soft contact connection. So I stand in my own space, he stands in his space. There's no expectation from me or intention. And in that moment, the whole being calms down. I call it neutral to show you the difference. I'm going to put pressure on him, put a lot of pressure on him, more pressure, 
I stay as relaxed as possible, of course, from the ground. And then when I release, you can see there's this sense of wanting to come with me. It's also quite interesting to use in private practice. I'd like to show one more thing. So if he's pushing on me, this is a classical practice from uh, my teacher, William C.C. Chen. If we practice static, so now he doesn't really push, but I can practice making space, getting out of the way, and really blending with him softly. Let's turn around. So if he's coming, just come, just come towards me. So if he's coming towards me in a dynamic way, I can also connect in a soft way so there are no sharp edges. And we'll do one more thing, he comes in, and then from that movement, and from my own balance, I can um, uproot him. So of course there's a lot more, but in this short, short uh, time with you, I would like to show one more little introduction, and that's Tai Chi boxing. Of course, I'm not going to box too much, and then that's how do you apply this to punching? How do you meet your partner? So the idea is to meet, 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 meet. Don't overextend, stay in balance. You have to relax to go quickly. And you're practicing to be calm when there's a lot of speed or force. So how can you relax that? We have a natural, a natural uh, uh, primal reaction of fight, flight, or freeze when something comes in, and how can we learn something else? Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Laura, for drawing a bow uh, between these different contexts of partner work, weapon, boxing. Yeah, Berta, which path do you take in this context at Wudang School? Yes, in, uh, in Wudang Shan, when we practice in Wudang Shan, we always ask to be Fang Sung. And Fang Sung means let go and relax. And I show you um, some basic exercises with my disciple Reza. And the first is just stand still, relax, sit, sit down. And yeah, your partner starts to move for example, your arms. And your job is don't resist at all. So just uh, be so, let it go, smile. So whatever he does, it doesn't disturb you at all. Maybe a push is coming. So give away. Don't lose your axis and don't lose your um, grounding. So if something comes that's a, a little small, uh, um, so don't you don't have to overreact. It's just go in this timing, and if it's much more, um, maybe yeah you're relaxing in this way. So um, some people like to block your joints. Maybe you've seen this, it's like this china, they block your joints and, and it's going into the shoulder. And if your mind uh, jumps, uh, your E, your attention jumps into the shoulder where the action happens, then you're, you're immediately um, not grounded anymore. So, but if you find your joints relaxed and uh, open, and you don't care about every, anything, so you can lose, you can lose in, in, into your body. 
And you see it's moving him, not me. So this is a nice exercise. You can be touched anywhere and just relax. And I show you another exercise. We call it a willow in the wind. So choose a um, Chanjuan position as you like. And if somebody, if your partner moves your arm, so don't move it separately, but feel like a tree connected and whatever comes, you move the whole body. So you, it's like the tree in the wind. Mm. Yeah. And you don't have time to um, relax from the part where the action is under your feet. You already have to be under your feet. So if you already are under your feet, um, it doesn't disturb you at all what happens. Of course, you can do this um, exercise with a little movement. For example, you move to the left and to the right in a slow way. Oh, yeah. Or you can, um, what's very interesting to do your Tai Chi form and ask someone to disturb you. It's a very nice exercise um, to empty your heart and to, to feel the whole movement relax inside your body. So try this if you want, feel naturally and have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Birte, thank you for presenting us these exercises. Yeah, Hella, finally I ask you about maybe a partner exercise uh, or the partner work from the Huang system. Okay. I would like to explain uh, with a very simple exercise. We call it up and down movement. And if you feel like you can just join me and Yeah, could you repeat again, Hella, please? Yeah. And unmute the mic. Yeah. Yes, now it should work. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so the up and down movement is very simple. Master Huang found it at the end of his uh, life, in his uh, last years. And he said, all my understanding is in this little movement. And uh, you relax from the feet, ankles, knees, hip joints to connect the base with the body. When the leg muscles relax, the body muscles relax, the shoulders can sink and you have the connection. And in this simple movement, when I relax down, I have the connection and then I can release the force from the feet to the fingertips. I let go down and of course, I need to let go the back and the hip joints at the same time. All is connected, balanced. And the feet, the weight is evenly distributed on those feet and 
you have, of course, your axis. You let go down, relax. And this relaxing down also may break the base of my partner. And then I can release the force and I stay completely relaxed. When I come up a little bit, my back is still letting go, my shoulders sink, and so I have the connection. So I ask uh, Janudin to stand there. Janudin is my uh, student in Tai Chi, but also my teacher for Chinese philosophy. And when I go down without song, without relaxing, nothing happens. But if I go down, relaxing all my muscles, his base is broken. And when I release, I don't need to do much. And then I can refine this process. I can be faster. And at the end, it's just mentally going down and the force is there. It all happens at the same time. And, and then you can also do it in a bow stance. In a bow stance, we have another situation. That means I have the same movement. I re relax down into both feet and release the force from the ground under the feet. Through the legs, the body muscles relax, the shoulders sink. And when I release, I relax more. And then he can give me a force. Let's go a little bit to here. When he gives me a force, I can take it down and release. Or it can go faster, I release. Or I just relax. And in this way, thank you, um, we have a very good system with uh, many fixed patterns, partner exercises, and but it's all in this simple movement, connecting down and up. And the way you synchronize your body in this little movement, balanced, upright, centered. This feeling of completely relaxed and sunk, you bring into all the exercises, into the form and into all the partner work. So just relax down, feel your muscles relaxing, feel the whole body relaxing, send wave after wave of sinking from top of the head down into the ground under the feet. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Hella. And uh, thank you all three for this exciting insight into your practice. And thanks you all out there um, who have watched live this time, this broadcast. And I hope uh, you could get some deeper insights uh, in this topic, some similarities, some differences, um, and so on. Yeah, our next show will be on September 12th. This time, the topic will be images and imagination in Tai Chi Chuan. Ote Zahn will present this one. Guests will be Michael Boda, Robin Zahn, and Susan Batchelor. With this, we come to the end. And do you have any ideas or suggestions for further broadcasts? Please let us know. You can contact us via the YouTube channel or the website uh, which you can find uh, below the YouTube uh, film in the description. Please subscribe our channel and do not miss the next broadcast. Finally, I have to say, stay relaxed and happy. Bye-bye.
It's really a big team. Yeah.